What's, What's up, up guys? guys? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Zavin Marie. And I'm Jay Levant. Today we are watching BTS from Nobodies to Legends. Uh-huh. Let's go. Let's get into it. I so swear, when they all together, it looks like it's more than seven people. <laughs> It's the reverse for me. At first, it seemed like a lot to people to me. I remember this clip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. What? Sharing one room. Seriously. Well, that's a lie. Fighting words right there. <laughs> That's fighting words. What are you saying? Did this become a thing in Western culture where all these grown men and little girls are f***ing off to low K-pop boys? Listen, the guys were snubbed. Why does they've broken all these records. They've had an epic year. They should be in all the major categories. I don't like the fact that they've separated them. Sorry to interrupt yeah. you, Denny, but that's what... Well, it's just it's crazy because they constantly outsell American counterparts. Yeah. They outperform them, but they're mm -hmm. still not acknowledged. It's not a lie. The they mm -hmm. should be. Tell me what a lie. They're trying to maintain their identity, and there is a barrier there when it comes to yeah, the, the Korean language. Like obviously, there's going to be some North American audiences that aren't going to have that on location, and it's still an issue with radio. That's the big thing. Like our fans, I think they're like more enthusiastic than anyone. Can you describe that enthusiasm? They brought a boy band from Korea to Grammys. I was Sorry. wanting to pause. Like, I had to a long pause it for a second because I need to explain something or just try to not try to understand it. I need to make a statement, right? Because when it comes to media outlets, right, mm -hmm. you have all of these old to middle-aged men speaking on what's what what the current pop culture should be mm -hmm. or not understanding or questioning what's going on and it's like you're old bro like your favorite artist is beastie boys stop it like your time has passed and you don't understand what's going on so shut up about it that's to me the i me still off, like on that comment about it being them associating bts with like young teens and old men jacking off and i just thought oh that yeah that's that so... true bro 
foul and just and then not calling cool. them little boys because like come on, bro, that pissed me off. Go ahead, sorry. When I think of BTS, I think of talent and hard work and all of this. So to, for them to diminish BTS by like saying that's what they are, yeah, like yeah, yeah. just like these these boys that are. Um, what it was just like ew it was gross it was honestly gross yeah. and not needed at all that was just like disgusting to me anyway wow my next guest can all be described as an international music phenomenon they have made time magazine's most influential list they're the first korean act to reach number one on the billboard charts and they just became the first group since the beatles to earn three number one albums in less than a year well mm -mm -mm. I like how they did that. Uh, BTS. <laughs> Number boy band has broken the record for the best-selling album here in Korea. Now, this album released this April has sold 3.4 million copies as of May. BTS. As of May, Number one month. <laughs> physical album in the United States in the first half of this year. Having the first Korean artist to win two trophies at the Billboard Music Awards in Las Vegas on Wednesday. The awards were top social artist and top duo group. BTS has been named the group of the year on Variety's Hitmakers list. BTS performed at the U.S.'s most watched New Year's concert, New Year's Rockin' Need. Their upcoming really? U.S. tour is one of the hottest tickets on earth. Even more remarkable, considering most of their songs are not in English. They're headlining two sold-out nights at Wembley Stadium, performing for sixty thousand screaming. You about to pause it? I want to say something. Wait, let oh, me go, ahead, go because ahead. I wanted to pause it. Okay. I just find that that's so funny that that's their major argument when we have like reggaeton that always chats in in the U.S. Yeah. That is in Spanish. Yeah. But anyway, whatever. I was gonna say I wanted to pause it because they said that. And I wanted to be like, okay, the flip side of that. Think of huge pop stars in the past, like Michael Jackson, right? Mm -hmm. Who every song is in English, but he's traveling the world, going to mm -hmm. all these countries where these Outside people don't speak English. English. That's very true. And they loving it. So That's it's like true. the audacity of, right. I'm from an English speaking country, but the audacity of an English speaking country feeling right. so yeah. superior, high and mighty mm -hmm. um, to every place else in the world. I'm like, oh, That's it's very true. it's mostly in Korean. So we're surprised. Shut up. <laughs> That's very true. You know what I'm saying? Very, very good point. Anyway. Oh my gosh. This video's not supposed to be making me mad, <laughs> but it kind of is. Let's continue. That is awesome for tourism While a clear majority, and the economy. For female, 24% were 10 to 19 year olds, 26% were 20 year olds, 19% were 30 year olds, and <gasps> hold on, this that's a secret. lot of 50 year olds. 27% were 40 could be, could be years parents old. as well, mm -hmm. and also fans. Hi, I'm Cheryl, I'm just over 50. I'm 56. I'm 64. I'm 33. I'm 36 years old. Almost 48 years old. I'm 44 years old. I have two children. BTS. She got a Sprite t-shirt on. <laughs> I mean, I don't see no kids around them. Right, right. And you know, having a, a, a group of like musicians and like really talented people Talking see, about, like, better yourself, those better are the older people who understand mm -hmm. and see their work that they put into it and that they're true I artists, you know what I'm saying? For their message. Yeah. John Cena. People who are misunderstood mm -hmm. believe that what they're doing is right, and I think that's very important. You should love yourself. For a group that is such larger than life, mm -hmm. that it can be so easy to, like, dehumanize them. Yeah. They really do a good job of keeping themselves, like, really, like, just natural and humble. So I've never seen a, a whole concert. It's astonishing. I don't know how they do it. Yeah. They are... Amazing performance, mm -hmm. and we love it, and we had a blast. We didn't. We got out of our seats. We got right down the pit and broke a sweat dance. 
As a group, BTS has previously teamed up with UNICEF and spoken in front of the UN about the importance of self-love for global youth. We have learned to love ourselves. So now I urge you to speak yourself. Mm. Right. It's really cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm finding how to love myself. You know, I, I didn't know anything about loving myself, but you guys, you guys taught me through your eyes, through your mm-hmm. love, through your, through your letters, through your, everything. You guys taught me and inspired me how to love myself. And loving myself is my whole life goal until mm. I'm like that. And you know, what is loving myself? What is loving yourself? I don't know. Who can define their own method and the way of loving myself? It's our mission to define our way to love ourselves. It's never intended, but it feels like I'm using you guys to love myself. So I'm going to say one thing. Please, please use me. Please use mm. BTS to love yourself. That's so nice. Such a great message. Thank you so much. We love you guys. Love. Love this song so freaking much. Yeah. himself is very grateful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, that made me tear up at the end there. <clears throat> So I, I was I expressed my anger all throughout the video. So mm-hmm. I don't want to end it with that. Mm-hmm. I just want to say that uh, this video was a true example of perseverance, a true example of just the the talent, the the gift and the passion of all seven of these right. men to overcome whatever was thrown their way to reach where they wanted to reach, and mm-hmm. it's just beautiful to see. Yeah. Um, I don't want to talk about any of the media, anything anymore. Right. Um, but yeah, they, they see that and they choose love. They choose to mm-hmm. send out positivity. They choose to give good messages, which I can appreciate. Yeah. I feel like journalism, when I think of journalism, I think of research, right? And I feel like a lot of those people were talking without having done their research. Mm. And I mean, there's, they're just like, you can just go on YouTube and find out a lot about a group right and they were just kind of given these really surface level entitled comments mm-hmm. that I just throw away honestly they they don't matter because from from their statements you know they haven't done their research you know they don't know much about the group so it's just like I can't even take their statements Seriously. too hard mm-hmm. um, and I know we watch a lot of comps, like funny videos, but I feel like it's through these things that we see their true personalities. We see how they interact with one another. And they have remained so humble throughout all of this and seeing where they started, you know, you really get a sense of why. And I don't know, like the fact that they started with a small company as well, I think has kept them grounded. Um, they went through the journey together and um, it was just a really inspiring video. I loved Aram's speech about how um, Aram has, um, has has made him love himself because yeah. you know a lot of times self love can come from others as well because you see how much people admire you and you're like wow I didn't even know I was kind of like emitting this energy mm. but here you are telling me something about myself and I think that's what he's he's talking about 
from everyone loving him and like pointing out the good in him he was able to appreciate the good in himself and I just think that that was just such a really good message so and then he totally flipped it to say through me love yourself yeah. and I love awesome. how you did that yeah so that. yeah this was a really good video I really enjoyed it I love BTS just y'all just cast out whatever the haters say because it don't even matter at the end of the day. Um, haters going so hate. yeah, I love this video. Loved it. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment, subscribe, share, uh, <laughs> hit all the links in the description. And that is it. We'll be back with another video soon. All right, guys. Peace. peace. Hey, you. Hey, you. Yes, yes, you. Push that, Push subscribe, that subscribe button, button right, right now. now. Thanks. Thanks. You're the bestest. You're the bestest.